Hey guys, Starbucks released their fall menu, so I of course had to go get one of each drink to make sure that they taste just how I remember them last year. This one is the classic pumpkin spice latte, but this year they actually put a twist on it. They went crazy and they put oat milk in it. So let's give her a try. I haven't ha added like any additional sweetener, just this is how it comes naturally. So I'll add sweetener if I need to, which I probably will. Oh, okay. Low expectation, high reward. The oat milk actually, it actually makes it taste more like a slice of pumpkin pie because for whatever reason, the oat milk makes it taste like it has crust in it, which sounds disgusting. But you know, like my favorite part of a pumpkin pie is actually like the crust, which is weird, but oh, that tastes so good. Wow. Oh, that is so good. I'm obsessed. I just like, I didn't think that the oat milk was going to really give it that much of a difference, but it really does. If I add Splenda in here, it's going to be a thousand times better. If you're not addicted to Splenda, like, are you even really living? So I'm going to add 75 packets of Splenda in here. I added three packets and I could do way more damage, but we'll just go with the three. Ugh, that is so good. It just brings back memories. Okay. I love this absolutely delicious way better than i remember it the oat milk really takes it to the next level i'm gonna rate this one out of five i'm gonna rate this one a four and a half <laughs> a four and a half you heard it right moving on to one that i wasn't impressed by last year and that is the pumpkin spice cold brew i was sad because a cold brew is my drink of choice at starbucks so i had high expectations for it which probably killed the results but this needs additional Splenda right off the bat, I think. No, let's just try it without. Okay, let's try it without. <laughs> Definitely needs additional Splenda. Splenda's in. I'm mixing it around and it looks a lot more peeling. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, now we're talking and now we are talking. into that. Wow, Splenda just elevates everything. Is this a Splenda video or is this a Starbucks video? This is so good. I'm literally plowing through it. Wow. What a what a 180 here. But I think what I messed up on was that I didn't mix it up first and I thought that drinking the cold foam off of the top would like make it like really yummy, but I think that you need to mix the cold foam in it so that the creamy sweetness gets all up in the drink super good mm, compared to the pumpkin spice latte let's double fist oh i like the <laughs> i like the psl better it depends on the mood like if we're going full fall which like in la it's i think it's literally 90 degrees today i'm feeling more of this but if we're like diving head first into fall this one is still a four and a half out of five and this one is also a four and a half out of five but it's a different vibe it's a different vibe uh, i think i like this one a little bit more so I'll give this one a four out of five. Four out of five. Four out of five, ladies and gentlemen. Four out of five. Ugh, that cold brew hit my system and now I'm feeling like myself. Okay. This one, going back to last year, was actually my favorite drink. Again, it was low expectation, high reward. And this is the apple oat milk. Okay, take two. Apple crisp macchiato. And this year, I think they put oat milk in it. This one was so good last year because it was extremely sweet. So let's see if it's the same this year should i put a straw in her or should i just like i think i'm just gonna drink it regularly and then i'll put a straw in okay we need a straw not the venti straw in the grande cup i hate that but whatever first world problems oh yeah mm. oat milk really just changes the vibe of everything oat milk is delicious if it wasn't for the calories i'd drink it all the time that is good, baby. That is good. Let's add the Splenda. I hate ruining the cute separation, but we got to do what we got to do. Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is good. You know, the oatmeal just like, it makes her thickety thick. It does. It just like, I'm already full. Okay, that's dramatic, but so so good I, what's my favorite i can't decide that is so good I, again i want to give this one a four and a half out of five let me double fist again and see how it compares to the og i don't know mm. 
I think I might rate this one higher. I might say like 4.75 out of five. I think this one's my favorite. Again, winner of the year. Moving on to the cake pop. Cute slash creepy. Who has seen an apple, an apple, an owl <laughs> with blue eyes? Not me. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, but let's taste it. Kind of cute, kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. Delicious, but like tastes like the birthday cake cake pop. Cute. We love a novelty, but like, could live. Oh my god. <laughs> could live without it. Okay, you guys, before I choke on my own spit, let's end the video. What are you guys excited about for fall? Is it the pumpkin spice lattes? Is it Halloween? What are you guys gonna be for Halloween? Ugh, I am so excited for fall, even though it's 90 degrees outside today and it does not feel like fall. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.